I'm singing a song about picking donuts from my donut tree. I'm picking donuts for you and me. Hello there, friends and lovers. It's me, T. Tran. I just had a wonderful day out in the orchard picking all these fresh donuts for myself and only me to eat. Interesting, my cell phone is ringing. Let me answer it. Boop. Hello? Tu is Yoko. Oh no, it's Yoko. How's it going? Tu, I'm exhausted. I've been working photographing elbows for my new photo series all week. I'm an existential shell of my former self. It sounds like you need an excellent meal. Oh yes, something spectacular. An extravagant meal. Exactly. Hmm, how about the hamburgers? How about eggs? Oh, Rokumi no Andest! I love it! Great! Come to my egg house at 8.30. It's egg party time at egg my house. Egg, 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 egg p.m. Egg, see you later! Egg, bye! Okay, egg, bye! Sayonara there, egg, egg! What a weirdo! Okay, well, let's get cracking! We're going to be having an egg party. We need to use only the freshest eggs, and I know just how to do that. Birds of the world, come to me! there boys and girls for our appetizer course this evening we're going to be preparing these quail eggs that fell from the sky earlier and turn them into deviled quail eggs and to help us this evening is a very special guest coming from underneath the earth here he is ladies and gentlemen it is the king of evil himself the devil <laughs> Okay, how are you, devil? Splendid, as always. Very wonderful, yes, very wonderful. Yes, Can you talk a little bit about your uh, latest book coming out? My latest book? Uh-huh. Well, it's all about evil. It's called the Encyclopedia of Evil. I've finished about four volumes thus far. But there's a whole lot more to go, because obviously, you know, there's a lot of evil in the world. Very good. That's yes. wonderful. Okay. Well, so the first two volumes should be coming okay. out in May, and uh, the second, and th I mean the third and fourth should be coming out by June, uh, right when it gets nice cool. and hot. That, that sounds great. Yes. Okay, so um, they're going to be helping me. I think you'll really like them, actually. They're quite good. Okay, so um, these devil quail eggs are what we're going to be making. Devil quail eggs, how appropriate! I know, because yes, you're the devil, yes. we're making devil quail eggs, and you're a devil, right? Yes. Okay, so and the first thing we need to do is turn on this stove full of, uh, it has like a saucepan of water in there, and I'll turn this on up to high. Okay. Nice, I like very it, nice good. and hot. Very hot, yes. very, very yes. hot. And, and then you put um, those in I'll there. put those in there, All and right. let it come to a boil. Uh -huh. Okay, and they don't take very long to cook because they're quail eggs and like they cook in like, let it come to boil and pretty much take it off heat. 
So we're you, still... you mind if I speed this up a little bit? I mean, you can I got do this that. To do, right, so... right, right. All right. Okay, help yourself, okay? Yes, yes. Hot. Nice and hot. It's really boiling. Oh, it oh okay. Is. I think they're done, actually. Let me yes. pull them out right now. Okay. Yeah, nice. Okay, there you go. Steaming uh -huh. hot quail eggs. Oh, yes, I uh, love hot things. Hard boiled. Mm. Make sure they're hard boiled. And now what are you going to do with them? And now we're going to be preparing these in the theme of the seven deadly sins because seven we have our very appropriate guest here to yes, help us. Yes, yes, yes. Would you like some help with that? Very knowledgeable. I'm assuming you're very, very knowledgeable uh, of the seven deadly sins. Like the back of my hand. Like okay. the back of my head. That's why you're here. That's right. Okay. Okay. Um. So let's get started on these. All right. I'll help you out. Okay. The seven deadly sins are greed, caviar, very expensive, sloth, potato, couchy, envy, avocado. Very green. Gluttony. Sliced pork belly. Very fatty. Vanity. Edible silver leaf. Mirrored. Lust. Oysters. And aphrodisiac. And wrath! Sriracha. Spicy. that clever. Are you being sarcastic? Yes, I'm being sarcastic. It's not very nice. Well, I am the devil. You sure are. Why don't you go back to where you belong? Maybe. In hell! Well, maybe I will. See you in hell, everybody! <laughs> I'm sure glad that he's gone. Ah! Ah! Here, I have an egg that's so big, it crosses international boundaries. And in order to cook an egg this big, I'm going to need a monster frying pan. Oh, here one comes right now. Hello. Thank you. Hmm. So, now that I have my things here, I wonder what I should make with this egg. Should I make a poo-poo platter pot pie? Maybe a red rum rump roast of rat. Or pumpkin potato ping pong puffs. Perhaps quince quail quesadilla. Or perhaps a diet dog ding dong dumpling. Maybe melting Mickey Mouse mousse. I don't know, maybe whiskey weed walnut waffles. I say you make something really good in Italian. Oh, hello, Italian chef. Hello, do. Hello. How about you make a ravioli? Okay, that sounds like a really no, good idea. Calamari. No, 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 no. Oh, what? French baguette. You oh. threw it his eye. Do not listen to this oh, okay. meatball. No, make no, no, no. Fresh with it. No, you must make something Italian. Well, first, I gotta open it first, and I have to saw it to oh, open my. it. Well, I'll get it started a little bit, like this. And now, I'll whap it. Like this. There you go. That is a one egg. Whoa! Crazy. And now, we'll whisk it like this. And I'll put it in this giant frying pan right here. Whoa. So and what are you gonna make? You're gonna make a pizza, right? Well, let's cook it first. Here, I'll put it in the oven and let it cook till it's firm. To pay a You should make 
Omelette. Omelette? Okay. Omelette? No, no, no. Yes. Pizza pie. No, mm. no, 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 no. What do you know, you stupid, filthy breadstick? Oh, okay. my go take a bath, you meatball head. Your culture is a bunch of right. cowards. I think ten uh, minutes have gone by. I think my egg pan should be ready. Whoa, look how firm it is now. Oh, oh my lord. Yes, it is. That looks hard. just like a pizza crust. It, it sure looks does. just like an overgiving. Well, okay. Like a pizza crust. Okay. Pizza crust. Okay. I need, I need to put something on it. Do you have something for me to put on it? Ah, I got the cheese, a mozzarella. Mm. Mozzarella, oh, okay. Give it to me. There you go. Oh. Yes, a fresh oh. mozzarella. Mm. Oh, that is the barbaric it cheese. Looks like no cheese to me. Do you have a finer French yes, cheese? Yes, Oh, brie. great. How about, how about some pepperoni? Huh? Oh, oh. Oh, oh, let me put this brie on there. Yes, okay. that's right. You've got the top coat. No, she doesn't okay. I'm gonna put pepperoni on it too. Just no. because I like pepperoni. meat. It looks more like a pizza. Who way. doesn't love meat, huh? It's going to taste like mm, inside circles. of shoe. So let's put these pepperonis on there. Okay. Wonderful. So now I'm gonna put it back in my pizza oven. Alright. Hello. Look at that oven. And let the cheese melt. It should take about 10 minutes or so. I think I think it's ready. I'm gonna pull it out. Oh, oh, it looks like a pizza. It looks like a pizza. It looks like a pizza, but there's no crust. There's egg instead of crust. Yes. So, well, yeah. well, I think I'm gonna call it a pizza. Omelette, how about that? Eh? Pizza omelette. Let's agree to disagree. See, see? Wee wee. Alright. I agree. Peace. <laughs> Peace. Oh, yes. Hello there. And for dessert this evening, we're gonna make a frozen egg custard. Is that right? Yes. And to do that, we have all these Easter eggs that fell from the sky earlier. I'm going to crack. First, we have to separate the yolks from the eggs. It requires eight egg yolks to make this frozen egg custard. So I'll crack some eggs right now. I'll put the whites in this bowl and put the yolks in this other bowl, like so. And you'll do that about eight times at home. Oops. Like this. Cool. I like to separate the yolks with my hands and then dump it out into this white bowl and then here's some sugar, a cup and a half of sugar like that and then some salt, very important to counterbalance all that wonderful sweet you need some salt and then half of the half and half like so mmm great and now I'm gonna mix it very thoroughly like so and whisk it until it's all mixed together just like this. I like to mix it for an extra long time and then pour it in the saucepan. And you want to turn your stove on to as low as possible so that it can slowly thicken and you want to stir the entire time. <gasps> Department. Yes, come right away. I've heard gunshots and screaming next door. Really? 29 Pineapple Lane. <laughs> Hurry up. Thank you.
So now, we want to turn our stove on to as low as it can go, like so. Okay, a little lower than that. And then, stir this constantly until it thickens into a pudding-like consistency, like so. And 15 minutes later or so, it'll be very thick. And now, we want to pour it into our ceramic container. Mmm! And then pour in the rest of the half and half. So that it slowly cools down and getting ready for the freezer. So now, I'll put it in the freezer. Okay. And we want to let it freeze about halfway, which will take about an hour or so. Oh my goodness! Look at her! The creamy skin! That sensuous ceramic container! Oh, hello my darling! I have never seen one such as you! I must take you on my steed of waffle and my creamy scoops of desire. While you're waiting for your ice cream to freeze, you can play video games. Come in! Come in! Hello there! Oh, hello officer. What brings you here today? Well, I got a little call down the station from one of your neighbors. A call? Yeah, they said they heard a lot of gunshots and uh, screaming coming from this residence here. Gunshots and screaming? Hey, you know anything about that? No. No, huh? No, I live here by myself, and I've been alone all day. I don't know anything about that. Is this your fire arm here? Oh, yeah, that is mine. It's a family heirloom, and I use it to light my stove. You use it to light your stove, huh? Uh-huh. Oh, there it goes. What's this right here? Oh, oh, I think an hour has gone by. I need to pull my ice cream out of the freezer. Yes, you truly belong with me in the freezer. You and I shall take a... What? Where are you? Oh, curses, scoops of desire. I should have known that would never work. Go curse my dairy body! And stir it. And at this point, it should be like an applesauce consistency. And just simply stir it to rough up the texture a little bit. And once you have it stirred, just simply put it back into the freezer and let it freeze the rest of the way. Oh, your third straight hour dead drunk ice cream cone. Look at you. What a sorry day. Oh, she's back. No, turn your back. She's not worth your time. But think of the memories. That smooth, supple. Her face looks like a bond while a fence was taken to it. What are you making there? I'm making a frozen egg custard. Oh, I love custard. I gotta tell you, my wife makes the best custard. Uh-huh. You say it's egg, huh? Yeah, egg custard. Excuse me. Uh, den four. Over. I mean, Roger. Uh, uh-huh. Okay, uh, right. over and out. I can never get the hang of that thing. <laughs> Yeah, it's a well, listen, uh, if you uh, hear any gunshots okay. and or screaming, okay. you give us a call down there at the station, all right? I'll be sure to do that. All right. Well, enjoy your custard and uh, have a nice day. Great. It was great to see you. Sure. You don't come by enough. You're great. Okie doke. See you later. See ya. Have a wonderful day. <laughs> no ice cream cone. This is love. Be a man. Look at her and remember her as she once was. Hello, my darling. You and I, together forever. I will... What? 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 No!
Thank you for coming over to my egg dinner. Thank you for having me. It's exquisite to be here. Here are the seven deadly deviled eggs. Let's try one. Oh. Now try the egg pizza. And finally, for dessert, we have a frozen egg custard. Two, everything you make is so amazingly delicious. What is your secret? The secret ingredient to intelligent and sophisticated egg cooking is love. Wow. Mm -hmm.